everyone. Thank you all for coming in today. Just before we all get started, I just want to thank you for reading over and signing the consent forms, which simply state that we, you have all agreed to be here and that everything we do here today will be kept confidential. We are filming this study today, but please be aware that we'll be destroying the video within one week and all the data we collect today will be kept private with us and the Okanagan School of Business. For agenda today, we are going to be starting with few, some questions and then we are going to do a quick activity and close our session with a few more questions. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So I just, so just to get started, could we get your names, please? Good week to me. My name is Natasha. Katrina. 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 Are you all students in the Okanagan School of Business? Yes. Yes. Perfect. And what you guys are majoring in? Marketing. 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 Cool. We all are marketing. <laughs> are you guys fond of social media? Yeah. To some extent. To some extent. I love hate relationships. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? It's fun. It's fun. Time waster. Time waster. Okay. What about you? Yeah, kind of the same thing. Perfect. And can you tell me, guys, how much time do you spend social media on social media per day? I enjoy using Snapchat to talk oh, yeah. to my friends, and like mostly because I'm so busy, I'll like take a picture of me doing homework or something and send it to them or something just to show them I'm still a little bit time. Yeah, but more social aspect. Whereas I use Facebook to uh, make groups so I can talk to each um, each classes group oh, separately. Yeah, okay. you know, yeah, yeah. So I keep them all together. So perfect. Yeah. And what about you guys? Uh, like how often? Yeah, like how many hours per day you guys use? It really depends. Usually, like the most I use social media is just Messenger for talking about school groups. Mm -hmm. So, but just a couple hours, maybe all together. All together. I mean, maybe an hour. Oh, okay, okay, not. Good. And about you? Um. Well, like on the iPhone, you can see how much time you actually. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like combine them all, like two hours, mm -hmm. two to three hours a day okay. on average. So. Okay. That's average kind of. Okay, so we are going to do a little activity with you guys, and we want to encourage you all to discuss with each other as we along. Here are some social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and we go to your main, and we go here Snapchat, and please place them on the board using the board as a scale from the lowest to highest on terms what do you guys use the most? For so popularity? Yeah. Okay. I can use a paper. <coughs> Facebook. I think Facebook or Insta would be uh, the full way to decide what comes first. Um, I'd say Insta for me. Instagram. Instagram. So I go Instagram, Facebook. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah, for me. All we agree with Instagram. Okay. We have quite a range, a range, little bit of a range in the ages as well. So okay. Instagram is more for like the younger people. Yeah. Which is people, more people coming in will be younger too, right? Then mm -hmm. that's more popular now. We mm -hmm. lots decide. of videos on that. Yeah. And then Facebook will be second. Ah. Okay, so I have a hard time deciding between the email personally because I use it quite often for like when we send each other's docs or the professor stuff. So yeah. I mean, I love Snapchat, but I would almost say that this one's more yeah. used. Yeah. I'm not even hard to say. say. I use email a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'll put that one next. Yeah, I take email. Okay. Keep on swiping down so that you know emails. Yeah, and I do that too. Eh? To <laughs> it does get overwhelming too. My my current email inbox has like three thousand unread messages because there's promotions from other businesses and stuff that you gotta filter through. That's the so. marketing strategy. Yeah, yeah, sometimes my important emails get lost in the mix. Um, I would say probably Snapchat is next. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone cool with that? I don't have Snapchat. Okay. I guess between the two. <laughs> but only like I think two of us use LinkedIn. Yeah, and none on Twitter. So only t only fifty percent of us use this and oh. none of us use this one, so I wouldn't even put it up. Okay. <laughs> okay. This would be our last one, I think. Yeah. 
probably over here. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask a couple of questions related to these different social medias. Okay. Mm -hmm. So which social media do you guys think has more informational stuff on it? Facebook. How about you guys? Do you guys agree? I would say Facebook, yeah. Facebook? Yeah. I don't fully understand the question. Like informational lots, like more rather than the... Uh, I mean, just for the, if, if, if we use anything for fun or if we use anything for actually learning something, like informational stuff then? Okay. It's kind of scattered yeah. everywhere. If, but uh, yeah, I think, I think because Facebook was popular for so long that it does have quite a big like database. Okay. Like, yeah. It has a lot of different uses mm -hmm. and they, you know, they're continuously updating it. So I guess I would agree with that as well. Okay, and I would like to use each of, each one of you personally, like, which one do you use for the school purposes the most? Mm -hmm. Email. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I'm, I'm halfway between email and Facebook. Uh, email is how I'm getting most of my uh, information from professors. Mm -hmm. and, but uh, for Facebook, I'm on there all the time for just for the messenger groups. Oh, yeah. And then I unfortunately sometimes get distracted with some posts or friends will think I'm online just to talk to them. Yeah, but really I'm just trying to get our project due. Yeah, okay. okay, so it's kind of distracting too. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's an email. Email, yeah, and email, yeah. Okay, so email for that one. Which social media do you find the most fun, entertaining, contradictory to? Which one? Instagram. Instagram. Okay, here we go. Lots of videos on Instagram. Uh, I like Snapchat only because I don't actually know how to use You've got Instagram lots of friends yet. on Snapchat, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like, cool. I just haven't really dealt I think I have two pictures posted on my Instagram. But oh, everyone seems to be super into that. They are. Well, you should try. <laughs> How about you? Um, Instagram, because everything, like, it's constant media. It's yeah. not the same yeah. thing. It's Post always coming and coming and yeah. coming and like coming. Like you said, it's original board. stuff. Yeah, it's all original that stuff. That enough so. would make me want to try it because Facebook's always the same exact yeah. funny thing that you yeah, saw. Like photography, yeah. 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 yeah, recipes. Lots of food shows. I love food shows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you. Instagram. Instagram. They have a good yeah. algorithm. So you yeah, the same page place. for that. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. And the social media do you find is the most dis distracting to you when it comes to studies? Uh, you already told that you Facebook went there for sure, group yeah. work and then you it's I because I have to same go thing with Facebook, yeah. Facebook. I go there for one thing and spend hours just looking. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably say Facebook because like someone's like constantly messaging right? me and I get that like ding and then yeah. I have to like check either like a group or like yeah. Oh, yeah. whoever messaged me. Okay. And what you? I guess probably Facebook. Facebook, okay, we are on the same page. Yeah. And which social media do you think the Okanagan School of Business uses the most like majority of the students we talk about? Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, probably. Facebook. And email. Yeah, I say email. Email? Email, everyone. Everyone has email. It's email. much easier to send uh, your documents through email, email. I find. Everyone on Facebook. Yeah. But it's easier to talk to a big group with Facebook. Facebook. Messenger. Yeah, we have, we have two of them as our own forms and forms. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And so a couple more questions for you. How many of you dealt with or talked to anyone involved with the Okanagan School of Business? like? Teachers, counselors, directors, the dean, etc. Mm -hmm. Just, just talk. The dean came to one of my classes in first year mm -hmm. and told us about the program and some of the cool stuff. So we, have, we all, all, all of us talk to the teachers, right? Mm -hmm. You agree? Everyone agree? How many, you, how many of you guys have dealt with anyone involved in the OSB, Okanagan School of Business, over social media? How many of you have talked to the professors so through social media? I uh, don't talk to professors through there. I do have some of them on my LinkedIn, okay. but um, there we go. Uh, I am following the like the Okanagan Students Union and the OSB Facebook mm -hmm. groups. I yeah. just don't really go there to look that often. at the OSB stuff that mm -hmm. often. Yeah. Okay, but you have did it? You yeah, I, I did. I liked their page. Or okay. Something. Okay, but you never talked to actually talk. No, to I haven't engaged with with it. No. Okay, I got to you. Um, I no. don't do anything, no. Oh. I don't do anything like that on social media. How about the girls here? Um, the only time I've ever really interacted with like any professors or anything from 
the school of business at OC. Um, it's only been through email. Through email, okay. And I've talked to like business advisors for graduation oh, advisors yeah. through email. Okay, email. So you're graduating soon, eh? Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, fingers crossed for that. Okay. How many of you guys, okay. And on a scale from one to five, what would you rate the OSB social media presence? One being the lowest and five being the highest. One. I wouldn't know because I'm not involved with them. So a zero. Say, give them a zero. I give them a one. Okay, one is the lowest. Yeah. Okay, done. <laughs> I thought I said one. Okay, sorry. Like no. Yeah. Okay, I think School of Business is not at all active. But they're on Instagram. I see them there. So. Oh, interesting. They followed me the other day. That's the only reason I know. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be the one person we got with. Okay. And none of you guys are known? No. Oh, I have something to add. I just noticed today yeah. that the um, Moodle app, oh, or yeah. the OC app, yeah. sorry, mm-hmm. has a little button for like Twitter and Twitter. Facebook, and stuff, but I've never there actually clicked on it until today. Okay. So I just found that out. You just found that and out. And we were discussing between the four of us that, that we, neither one of us uses Twitter too, so maybe they should get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> Here is a suggestion from one of our participants. <laughs> and so do you guys think student would benefit from a greater social media presence? Because we already agreed that it's very low. So. I do think so. I think if it's done in a fun and engaging way that they could get more students mm-hmm. involved and then they would know more about what's going on. Okay. I think if they're going to be more involved in social media, they should let us know um, that they are involved in social media. Let us know their page handles. Let us know what they're posting on there so we'd actually know to go and like their page mm-hmm. or whatever. They should do some sort of promotion <laughs> around that. It's not, not like just post the page and leave it. They have little pamphlets or or call it or stuff like that. Okay, what about you? (laughs) I think all the professors should tell the students within the first week of class that like this is what we use, you know, which they probably, I bet you a lot of them do, but like maybe talk a little bit more about Mm -hmm. this social media aspect to it. These these Instagram and everything, little connected with Google or Because I think right now, what I remember from most of my prof introductions was that, uh, you know, to use Moodle and email and stuff, but like not a lot of them really talk about on day one what how we can use social media. Social media, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's the point of the concern. And do you think new students coming to to the school who are young and and have grown up with the social media would expect the OSB to have Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter? Can you say that? So basically it's like the newcomers, new students who are coming every semester, do you think they, who are young and have grown up with the social media would expect, would they expect about OSB to have social media like LinkedIn, yes. Facebook? Yeah, I think the yes. more we get into technology, the more people expect Ex- from it. Ex- yeah. What about you? So I think it's the way of the world. They have, yeah. to, they they have, have to, to. They have to adapt to the new things. Okay. Yeah. In the future, why sh- what social media platforms do you think the Okanagan School of Business should have the largest presence on and why? So I think wherever their target audience is, that's where they should branch out. Well, so if, for that's example, a good answer. if the younger generations, because most people here are 18 to 25, I would say, yeah. the younger generation is moving towards Snapchat and Instagram, for example, okay. they should focus their efforts on that platform. So you pick Snapchat and Instagram? No, I'm just saying, for example, for example if that's okay. what they see happening, that's okay. what they should do. Right. But for right now, we are saying it's Facebook and Instagram, so okay. that's where they should focus their So they should right conduct now. a little survey of the students, but what are their first two preferences? Yes, and then, and then they do from there, yeah. Okay, okay, nice. And what about you guys? Um, basically what Denise said, um, depending on like the majority of like the age audience, um, I think it's constantly changing. You never know if a new social media platform might even come up where everyone starts using it, just like Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, yeah, what Denise said, like for now, Facebook and Instagram would probably be number one for now, but in the future it might be something else. Oh yeah, well they have to change and adapt it according to the time and time, yeah. I also think because we're required to use the Moodle for a lot of our submissions and things like that, like where to find your course information, stuff like that, I know they're already working on it quite a bit, but I think that they should focus their efforts on making that work well for us, mm-hmm. and maybe not as much. I know that we need to have social media, but maybe have someone who is 
you know, engaging on those two that she mentioned, but I still think to keep going with their portal because that's what they're requiring us to use. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of glitches that I find for So basically you're trying to say that they should give equal importance to the upcoming social media as well as the Google. Yes. They shouldn't neglect one thing that's over right. another. That's right. Okay, these yeah. things, these things Especially because they're requiring us to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice one. Okay, so that's I guess all. Do you have do you guys have any concerns or questions regarding the activity that just took place between us? I have one more thing. Yeah. Um, a common complaint with amongst myself and my fellow students is like the Wi Fi usage is not great around campus. So mm -hmm. if they're going to put more emphasis on social media things that require a Wi Fi connection, then they should also put efforts into improving that's that connectivity. That's a really nice one, yeah, because that's how we can use the social media. Yeah. No internet, no social media. Yeah, so there's a lot of spotty places around there. Any area. questions, any recommendations in general you guys have? Yeah, no. Anything? Anything you would like? Let me think. Okay. <laughs> how about you? No, no, I'm no? good. Yeah, that's oh, it's, so, yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for your time today. The knowledge we have gained today I will greatly benefit the Okanagan School of Business. And again, everything will be kept confidential. So thank you guys very much. And we are done. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>